Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Mr. Guild Place Kingdom Maker. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, comments, suggestions, subscriptions, and all of that jazz. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we're going to be talking about armies. Consider this the first of the tutorial episodes, basic army stuff. And I mean basic, guys. We're just starting out. We're going to get more complicated as we go on. But I know that a lot of you out there have a little bit of issue with some of these things, clicking all the buttons, working out what's happening, and here we are to help. So, let's talk about our armies. Now, we are only at level 8. We are still underneath our shield bubble, uh, but we have started growing our armies by training continuously. The first thing to note, of course, is that you can only train if you have the population for it. Your population is sitting up here. This is the little peoples up there. And you can see that number six, we have six population. That is not enough to train more troops. We need far more population. How do we grow our population? We grow our population by upgrading our housing. Now, currently, you can see we've got housing level six, seven, all of that kind of stuff. So I could probably upgrade these a little bit more and add more to my population. But the population doesn't just add. I don't upgrade this and all of a sudden I have 40 more people. Uh, basically, what we need to do is wait. Time. Population, like any of the other resources, food, stone or wood um, or silver, uh, sorry increases over time uh, you can see here we currently have a growth in a population of 67 per hour so that's just a little over one per minute or 1.00111111111111111111111111 something like that uh, per minute so basically we just need to wait in order to grow this population you can see in a second or so that's going to go up to seven um, so until we grow that population we are unable to train more troops which means we cannot have more power our armies are small but fear not because we've been training troops forever um, and or at least for the last week or so and you can see we have enormous amount of available troops now enormous is you know relatively here for a level eight i think we've got a few amounts of troops available to do things 474 there 185 of those guys and 24 of those guys currently our garrisons are all full so if we try to auto fill and a sign it doesn't really do anything because everyone is full there our main army which is run by myself mr gill mr's army we can pop in here and see that these guys are also all full as well if we want to click on this guy and try and assign more we cannot because there's only slots for 55 militia swordsmen um, the amount of troops that i can have in this army is uh, predicated on my personal level and you can see here army slots i'm allowed 146 troops in order to increase this i'm going to have to increase my personal level or this nobles level so to speak it's not my personal level even though this is the character i'm playing there are other nobles that we control as well so in order to increase that 146 i have to increase my personal level in order to increase my personal level i need to increase my talents you can see here we are two out of five talent opened once i've opened all five of these talents in the talent level one section i will then be able to increase my level down here level 10 out of 10 as you can see i'm maxed on this tier uh, in order to increase the talents i'm going to have to get some uh what's we called it combat merits and you can see at the top here we only have four of those now if we wanted to see where else we can see things like the combat merit if we pop back 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 up here and we just click on any of these resources that's going to bring up a kind of inventory screen this will tell us our invoice uh the invoices our resources and how many we're producing per hour how many we can actually store which is a hard thing because to be honest you can see now we're maxed out on the wood and wood is an important one we're going to need a lot of uh we can only increase this by upgrading our store mill anyway uh down here you can see the currencies so these are the various little bits and pieces and metals and things you're going to need to upgrade everything and you can see there's quite a few of them going on but this is the one we are looking for is combat merit so this is the one that's going to be able to increase our talents and hence increase our lord's level which will then increase our army size uh, you can also see down here we've got things like materials xp yeah, blah, 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 blah. so this is our basic backpack by clicking up here we can see our inventory our backpack and you click on any of those resources and it'll show you that screen um, so we want to increase our army but unfortunately we can't because we need to increase our level 
uh, which is something we're going to have to try and work on now. So let's maybe see if we can attack something and get a combat resource thing. Uh, let's go to uh, keep. No, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Apologies. We need to go to county. Uh, and let's go and attack something. What we want to try and attack is a level 7 thingy majiggy. Uh, we're going to need level 7s around. Uh, this is all level 1s. I believe we can now attack level 7s. We're, we're good enough. Uh, level 6 there. I definitely want a level 7. What I might do is pop in here because I do believe in the daily goals. Orc Slayer 1 out of 2. Defeat 2 Orc Camps level 7 or higher. Perfect. So if we go like this, go. That's going to take us to the closest level seven camp that we can attack we can see here the power is 54,000 now our power is not that strong we've only got 32.2 however I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to do this now it's going to take a couple of minutes so let's just do the old speedy up time Okay, here we arrive. Fantastic. Let's watch this battle uh, unfold. Uh, as I said, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, we could just go. I'm pretty sure we should be able to win this quite easily. Probably lose a couple of troops. Bam, bam, bam. Whoop. Sorry. Okay, yeah, we're losing quite a few actually. Whoops. Oh no, that's that guy. That's the red guy. Yeah, we've lost a couple there. You can see 35 out of, I think that was something like 50. So we lost like 10 or 15. I don't know if they die or they just need to be healed. Something we'll have to look into. Uh, here's the next batch of guys. Kill them. And you can see some of the others are going straight for the wall, which is great, which should mean objective complete. Victory is ours. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. Aha! Combat merit. Fantastic. We also got a little uh, shard there for Agnes, which is one of the champions. We'll be talking about champions in another video. Uh, but we did get one of those combat merits. Excellent. So, we now have five. We need 12. So, therefore, we should be attacking more things. How are we going to do that? We've only got one guy going back and forth. It's going to take forever. We need to set up some more armies, don't we? We can now... Oh, not now, we could have at any point. We can assemble another army. Remember, we have five other nobles standing around doing nothing much. Let's get them working. Mrs. Gill, you're going to now lead an army. Select you. Bam. 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 Oh, what? This guy. Bam. Ah, okay, wait a second. Uh, we tried to put cavalry everywhere. Let's change this one to uh, remove. Sorry, put uh, some of these guys in. Militia swordsman. Now we've got 15.4. Uh, I think actually this guy... Uh, no, this guy. Like that. Sorry, I'm being an idiot. There we go. Assign. Okay, so now we have 55, 55. We've got a power of 19.7, which should be able to at least kill level 5, something. So yeah. We could chuck a champion in here, so let's do that as well. Um, now, obviously, we want to look at the champion skills, but we're going to do that again, as I said, in another video. This increases archers' damage. We, are, we don't really have any archers in there, do we? Uh, what about this one? 10%. Increases speed and defense. Cavalry damage. Uh, William, what does he do? Increases mounted. I just want somebody who does boring stuff. Battalion damage by five. Defense against normal damage. Yeah, let's go for this guy because I kind of like the way he looks. Bam, like a soul. We can level this guy up, can we? Upgrade, yes we can. Resine, click on here. Uh, level up, level up, level up, level up. And now we're stuck promote champion to progress we'll talk about how we promote the champions later on but that gave us nine percent in that skill which is good um then we can come back here we can assign whoops sorry we can assign some troops to this guy let's just go with these guys i guess because that's the ones we've got the most of and then you can also see a little red dot here we can give these guys a weapon uh let's select that weapon a nice bow we can upgrade that weapon as well upgrade upgrade oh 
Yep, we can use some silver and some XP. You can see up here at the top, we've got 3.1 XP and 4,000 silver. So that's fine. Let's do that again. Yep. For now, we'll just leave it at that. Okay, so now we've got 24.9 thousand powers. What's this button? What do you want? Right, heal you. Three, wait a second. Oh, this is telling me I can still upgrade that uh, thing. We're just gonna leave that for now. We don't necessarily need to do that. So now we have two armies, which means we can attack multiple times. So we're gonna send Mrs. Gill out here to attack this Ravager's camp, like I saw. Okay, and this is using up all of our food, yeah? So we wanna keep an eye on our food levels as well. Um, and then we wanna attack something else. Uh, what else can we attack? Level five Marauder camp. Let's send Mr. Gill to attack there. Fantastic. Okay, so this is how we're going to get our combat medal, so to speak. Uh, let's get another army set up because remember, we've, we've still got lots more people. Oh, wait. No, we cannot. Look at that. Keep level 10. So until we get to level 10, we are unable to have more than two armies. After that, we're going to be able to do more. Remembering, of course, that before keep level 10, we are under what's called what I'm calling a peace bubble uh, or a level bubble. So basically, we can't, um, if we level up, we're going to lose that bubble and other people might attack us. So I'm kind of okay with just being at this level for now. Uh, let's pop in here. Attacking Marauder, attacking. We're just going to let them. We're not going to have to watch those uh, actual battles go on. Click in here, claim our free chest because that's super important. Bam, bam, champions. We want to check here. Can we do any recruiting? No, not yet. That's fine. And then we just want to check up here and see how many of these uh, medals we've now got. Six. Okay, excellent. Looks like we're getting a medal every time we attack something because that was Mrs. Gill attacking that camp. Mr. Gill is now attacking that camp. So if we want to get the 12 medals we need uh, in order to level up that one skill for Mr. Gill, we're going to need to attack another five camps. Mrs. Gill is now back home, so let's get her going on. Uh, armies, we're just going to have to probably heal something. Heal, free, bam, like that. And then we can attack this one here. Attack like so, fantastic. And then just double checking this, that we are earning those combat medals each time. Yes, we now have seven. So a combat medal comes from every time you attack any sort of NPC camp. Uh, you might get them attacking other players. As of yet, we have not learned that. So our army size is only going to increase when we can increase our level. So basically, you can see these guys are both level 10. They are at their max army size for now. Um, now, if we promote our champions and upgrade our champions a bit, we will be able to increase the army size that way as well because our... Uh, Close. I don't want to do that. Uh, you can see here that this person shush, 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 only takes 18 by upgrading or promoting this champion as well. We'll be able to upgrade the amount of slots there uh, and we'll be able to have overall larger amounts of the troops in our army. Um, that's a little bit about the basics of how an army works. I think that's relatively self-explanatory. Uh, basically, we need to just increase our nobles as much as possible. Uh, obviously, we want to keep always training those troops up so that we have a large supply of troops in order to place into our armies. Um, and we do that, of course, by keeping our population level up. So that's what I'm going to do now is max out our population, train some more troops, get those two armies, Mr. and Mrs. Gill's armies, out there constantly attacking these NPC camps within the area um, and maximizing our uh earning of the combat merit medal so give me a second while i do that <laughs> 